Uh, next, we have Arjun Ganganathan. He is a geospatial engineer and he loves to map things. So he's, he's part of the Open uh, OSM Kerala team. And he's also the co-founder of Geomines and one of the founding members of Open Data Kerala movement. So he'll be talking more about how he unveiled a Kochi's transport landscape using OpenStreetMap. So uh, I'm just uh, here to talk about some mapping project uh, which we did as a, it's a, commer a commercial project completely done by uh, community people and uh, that's uh, which leads uh, earning for the community and sustainability for the community. So that's a small intro on me. Uh, I think uh, everything was uh, just uh, <laughs> just spoke uh, just before now. Like I'm not going into that. So uh, here is a outline on what uh, which I'm going to talk. Uh, what is mobility mapping and why is it important? And uh, open data in mobility, op uh, open street map, and OSM communities and about the pro Kochi mapping project. So what exactly is uh, mobility Mo or mobility mapping? Mobility mapping is a visual representation of the uh, movement of people uh, in and out of a community. So uh, which is the visual representation can be of many forms. Uh, here we are talking about uh, maps. So what does the mobility map uh, tells us? So it tells us uh, like about a lot of various things where uh, it leads or it gives us a solution for various complex problems in different domains such as economic, social, cultural, political, infrastructural, and resource. So here uh, there are a lot of, uh, like when we talk about mobility, then uh, it's a huge area where here I'm uh, talking about uh, the daily mo movement of people. Uh, being studied with the proxy parameter of public transport system. So I'm just taking a very small subset. Why is uh, mobility mapping uh, important? So, and again, like when I speak about mobility mapping, it's uh, only about public transport uh, for now. So the transit data helps equally it's, uh, for the commuters, the local commuters, uh, daily commuters who are new to the area, and also the transit agencies. The only difference is how it is uh, being used or uh, the, the level of data, uh, the abstraction of data which they get and how they are using the data. So the information on transit systems and networks uh, is what uh, we get, uh, like we need the information. Information is power. And if we can plan it better if we have the information. Create a reliable tra uh, traveling plans. Uh, we, we can build a lot of uh, value added applications. So we can uh, solve different use cases uh, with uh, having this data sets. Monitoring the effectiveness of the, the for the transit agencies, how uh, if a uh, system, the line is being run, how it can be, uh, like if, is it efficient or is it effective? It can be monitored. Uh, then the transactions, we all book tickets uh, online, offline. Uh, so these transactions between the agencies and uh, the commuters need to be done. Uh, co uh, coordination, coordinates to of the, the, we know that there are multiple uh, transit service uh, operators and how can we uh, coordinate or interoperable with all these multiple services. So the major challenges uh, currently which we are facing uh, is the availability of uh, data. Uh, the transit data is not available most of the time, uh, especially in India. Uh, there is no standardization, uh, like there are multiple uh, agencies running and there is no standard, uh, standard format currently like followed in India. Like everyone have their own formats. The transit agencies uh, monitor it only based on uh, the revenue they are getting and like they are not into other uh, steps which uh, actually gives uh, we can optimize when we have the data multiple operators of course uh, the interoperability is not there no real time applied, uh, updates uh, once we have create the data sets that's it even if we have a standard format once uh, an effort is being taken and it is created and there is not update to that
there is where, uh, that, that which is where the open data comes into place. And open standards. So what uh, what do you mean by open standards? It's a, a, a worldwide uh, format or the platform which came up uh, with a saying that there is the mo mobility industry uh, all across the world uh, is the communication between uh, these uh, agencies or the mobility uh, hardwares uh, such as the GPS sensors or platforms. Uh, the, the communication need to be, uh, in, uh, the protocol need to be set, the communication need to be uh, there and the interoperability should be there. So to have uh, that the standard uh, was set, uh, open standard was set, uh, where in which it means like, it should be free of cost uh, restrictions to uh, you. There is, should not be any restrictions to use. Uh, the public, it should be very publicly documented. Uh, it should not be uh, developed by a com uh, com uh, company uh, or an organization which have financial interest on that. We know like uh, if that is there, then uh, it comes uh, to the monopoly. It should contain certain uh, structured releases, versions, uh, chain logs, it, was, it should also uh, have that the uh, community uh, should have an access to that, users, transparency should be there, and though, uh, which standards which follow, any standard which follow uh, these points, then we can consider it as open standards. So here I'm talking about uh, one of the such open standards which is used for uh, transit data, which is uh, GTFS, which was initially developed by uh, Google. So the uh, general transit uh, feed specification, which is called uh, GTFS, is an open standard which allows the public transit uh, agencies to publish their data in a format such that the interoperability is ensured. So there are two types of G uh, GTFS uh, formats. Uh, one is about the schedule, which uh, talks about our uh, the static data, which is the uh, the st when the buses are uh, scheduled, uh, how the pl timetable is set up. And the second one, uh, with, which makes more uh, heavy data, which is the real-time network data, like, which uh, is being uh, sent from the devices which is installed in the vehicles. So this is the uh, open uh, mobility map. Of course, this is not a complete map, but this is as per uh, openmobilitydata.org, there is an uh, organization, it's as per the, uh, them. Uh, of course, I know that there is Pune uh, and Mumbai also having some uh, open data available. Even uh, BM, uh, Bangalore Metro uh, have uh, GTFS open data available, but it's uh, some for some, ro some reasons it's not marked. Um, so we, this is the world coverage. We can see uh, how uh, feeble is the, like the blue uh, dots and it's concentrated at certain areas only. So um, open street map and OSM uh, communities. So I saw a lot of people uh, raising hands for uh, open street map uh, volunteers and uh, so I don't, not going into deep, uh, everyone knows OpenStreetMap. So for those who don't know, uh, OpenStreetMap was founded uh, in 2004 by Steve Cost uh, with a vision of the uh, world's most up-to-date map and complete map. Uh, he was inspired with the success of uh, Wikipedia, which where everyone can uh, edit uh, and create uh, information uh, free and accessible for all. So now into our project. So this is a project overview. Uh, we did the project, uh, Geomines was the executing uh, agency at the field. Uh, Jungle was uh, another uh, company from France. Uh, they also uh, work around uh, OpenStreetMap. Uh, so they uh, com contribute to tools uh, for mapping in, and in open source. And the uh, consulting agency over here was uh, Sistra for the government. Uh, we mapped around 22,045 kilometers of public uh, transport routes in Kochi. Uh, Kochi and the Greater Kochi Development Authority area, which is around uh, 750 square kilometer area. 
So we mapped around uh, 200 and uh, 2,782 plus bus stops, not just a uh, point data for bus stops. Uh, we also mentioned uh, how the bus stop look like. Uh, is there is a shed? Is there is a bench? Uh, those kind of things with the amenities of the bus stops. The bus routes, uh, the unique routes were uh, seven, uh, 471 routes were uh, mapped. And we also mapped some uh, ferry routes. So there is a, we can uh, feel free to scan. Uh, you can uh, know much deeper uh, documentation there in the wiki, OSM wiki there. So this all uh, happened with only uh, 10 OSM volunteers in Kerala. We stayed for three months there in Kochi and uh, mapped we were when so when i talk about the uh, steps involved uh, first what they did was uh, the agency the sistra collected uh, the existing de document uh, document the permit data the uh, transit log uh, documentation the schedules everything which are available from the government of course there was nothing available they collected it and trans uh, like uh, gave us, uh, which is very uh, crude form, uh, prepared in years, years, like decades back. Most of the routes were not usable, like, and it's very, very difficult for the field team to work around. Then uh, the second step involved uh, the, fi uh, the field team uh, was tracing the uh, routes, the co corresponding routes. Most of the times when we end up, uh, like we goes to the field, there was no such routes available at all. Then uh, we created the OSM rela uh, relations. There is a term called relations, which connects uh, the data. Uh, it's a kind of a metadata, which connects multiple data sets together to stitch a certain uh, data sets to a certain theme. Uh, so we created a theme, uh, sorry, the master routes relationship. Then uh, after creating the relationship, the GPS traces which were uploaded uh, to the OSM was used as a reference and was mapped manually uh, from the desk and the relationship was added to those tracks. And then the uh, mapped one was uh, validated and data was extracted in GTS, GTFS format. So uh, existing data collection was like a nightmare, like we, when we went and we tried, uh, since we were a subcontractor or a, just a community, uh, people were like the government officials, that is, uh, says like classified information, cannot be shared. <laughs> I don't understand buses are uh, running in the public and uh, that still it's uh, classified information. So that's the state, uh, even though, uh, you need to understand that this happens in the state where uh, open data policy is live. So the typical bureaucratic uh, issues are there in collecting this data. When even the data is there, it's outdated uh, or maybe some handwritten formats or it is uh, some old uh, document which is typed and which is not even uh, scanned documents we are not even uh, allowed to take photograph. Uh, some of our team members sat in the office and <laughs> literally copied down from their document uh, list uh, by hand. It's not uh, machine readable at all. So ultimately this was not much of use for us, but we need something to start. Second step was uh, field data collection uh, where the methodology was something like this. We, uh, we go to the start point of the route. We get into that uh, bus from point A, the starting point. We get down at uh, point B, which is the last point, and comes back in the same route from B to A. So both up and down is marked. In between, we uh, the GPS track is being recorded. Each bus stop is being recorded with uh, the amenities. Also the roadside, uh, the auto rickshaw stands, taxi stands were also marked in, in the movement. So uh, we, these people we can see in, in the audience also, we have the, that almost all of the <laughs> members here. It was COVID-19 time just uh, opened after the second wave. 
the bus services uh, was not running properly like uh, bus was starting from the owner's house not from the actual point it goes and stops somewhere uh, the last person ends like there is no proper uh, route system or schedule being followed and total mismatch with the data so uh, we were like uh, stuck in the middle like we did our own methods we, we were like changing around uh, six to seven methodology in three months to complete the project we were in the uh, people were jina uh, and jodi 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 was in the field for the uh, entire day it, they were standing at one point and statically collecting the data which all buses pass through that area so that we can collect the data next uh, next day in that bus even that was not possible like the bus we saw yesterday was not available today so it was a very uh, tough time for the field team there we mapped bus route bus stop bus station ferry ferry routes and different types of buses so these are our tools we used open source uh, tool osm tracker with uh, customized uh, skins or the uh, the buttons we call it uh, we recorded the details then we mapped in uh, josem the java open street map editor we created a, uh, the, there was a plugin from uh, jungle bus which allowed us to edit faster then after editing uh, the validation was uh, done using uh, uh, like osm transit extractor and uh, converting it to osm to gtfs was done by the uh, osm to gtfs tool so this is the data which we produced this is the overview uh, which you can see here and uh, here like a zoomed version of some area and it's available in the uh, osm you can scan it so what difference this is uh, this project has made uh, compared to any other project so this project may be the first project in india uh, which is a com which was a commercial project initially and uh, we was able to uh, turn into a community project not just only volunteering the uh, volunteers or who, people who mapped were actually benef commercially benefited for this three months and uh, the commercial project was uh, like people the uh, volunteers were the mappers was mapping uh like they were mapping for passion but this time they were mapping for passion as well as they were benefited commercially they were also trained uh, with the different tools uh, the methods of uh, different complex mapping and uh, comp uh, this is community empowerment open data being uh, you can believe that if such a project was run and uh, if it is done and finished no one actually knows at all if it is not an open project it stays within uh, some files so it was from the very first day it was uh, released as open data and which demonstrated the power of uh, open data and crowdsource so yeah that's all you can scan the route so i will be around here uh, in the osm india stall uh, can feel free to uh, hit me we can discuss about mapping and we also have a mapping uh, party here uh, organized by osm india feel free to join <laughs>